image that given a target image and a single camera image, we need to find out the 3D relationship between the target and the camera. And the state of the art method belongs to feature based method. And the flow is getting correspondences through feature matching and outline removal. Then the perspective endpoint, PMP algorithm, will estimate the pose. However, this method fail in some cases, cases such as uh, high tail angle, blur, and textureless target. Another problem in pose estimation is the pose ambiguity, which refers to different poses with similar appearances. In order to solve those problems, we propose a direct 3D pose estimation. The reason why we name it direct is that we use the appearance distance directly as the energy function. And it is a two-step algorithm. First, in approximated pose estimation, we estimate the rough pose. Then in the second stage, we refine and further disambiguate the pose. The approximated pose estimation is a course to find search algorithm and wish to find the pose with minimum appearance distance. And in, in the, each round of this algorithm, we decrease the sample distance epsilon on the post space. So here's a brief illustration. We in, initially, we create a, a one set. Then we find the best pose. Then we preserve all the poses within the threshold. Then we expand the remaining set. So the algorithm repeat the progress until we reach the wanted sample distance epsilon. So after getting the rough pose in the previous stage, in post refinement, we find the second candidate pose from the input pose. Then we, for each pose, we apply gradient design search to refine the two poses. So the final one will be the one with a smaller appearance distance. The reason why we refine with two candidate poses can be explained in, in this figure. If the rough pose we get is the wrong ambiguous one, uh, this pose refinement scheme enables us to jump out of this local minimum and reach the global minimum and finally get the correct estimation. And our gradient descent search is a course to find local search with a 13 point searching pattern. In the experiment, we compare two SIFT and ASIFT combined with RANSEC and OPMP. The evolution include rotation error, translation error, and success rate. The first data set is a synthetic data set with normal condition. And from this table, the performance of ACID method and direct method is comparable. But in varying condition, uh, our method, which is uh, drawn in the orange color, uh, performs more accurate and robust. The ACID method fails in the high blur case, while the SIF method fails in high blur and high tilt angle case. So, the second data set is the uh, real data set from a previous IJCV work. And this table shows uh, the result of one of the video type on constraint free motion. And in the, this uh, table, we can know that uh, our method performs better than the others. And here's one of the videos. Uh, in these videos, the target image is rich in features, so that the uh, ACIF method performs uh, well. But uh, in the second video, uh, the target image contains lots of uh, repetitive features, so the feature-based method fails to give the correct estimation. The final data set is the textureless data set. And in this data set, we don't show the result of feature-based method because they cannot estimate the pose in this data set. But our method performs well. So in this so in this work, our contribution is that we propose an efficient direct based pose estimation. And our refinement scheme not only refine the pose, but also solve the pose and beauty problem. And in the experiment, our method performs more accurate and robust than others. So for more details, please come to poster session C1. And thank you.